And so to race one, the first race of the World Touring Car Championship 2012 here in Monza at the Cathedral of Speed. Jean Todd, the president of the FIA, takes a wander down the pit lane. The crowds are ready, very happy to see Tarquini on pole position. He was locked out of poles all last year, did get a single pole position, but here he is taking his 14th pole at home in Monza. At the front of the grid then, Tarquini. Next to him, Ivan Muller, the reigning World Touring Car Champion. The second row of the grid. In third position is Huff. Very hungry for victories again. He won here last year. Fourth, Menu. Then Rydell, Coronel, Oriola, McDowell, the British newcomer in a private Chevrolet cruise. Dudicalo, Mikulis, Dasty, and Engstler making up the top 10 of the grid. And it's a rolling start for race one. And they're off. The season is underway. Tarquini immediately under pressure from all three. All of his wing mirrors full of blue. Can he hold on to the lead? Can he defend his pole position so hard fought in qualifying into the first bend through the chicane? And it gets very tight. Bit of contact there. Bit of trouble behind, but Tarquini defends brilliantly. He has Muller right on his bumpers. It's a very bad start, but Muller still challenging against Tarquini. Has Tarquini got enough? Yes, he defends brilliantly. Oh, a contact there. Contact between Huff and Menu. No love lost between those two. And there's Rydell in another Chevrolet, another blue Chevrolet. Oh, and look at that, Menu has gone wide. He saves it, goes into the gravel, manages to avoid that corner being called Menu Corner. But Huff comes out of that much better. And Coronel challenging Rick Rydell. Tarquini still leads from the front, but how long can he hold off Muller? Muller goes for an attack. And makes it stick. Beautiful move from Muller. And takes the lead from Tarquini. But then that means Tarquini does have a drag. He can slipstream behind Muller down this long start finish straight. And this is how he managed to uh, get pole position in the first place. Can he use it to draft his way past? He's going to have a go. Makes a move towards the outside into the first chicane. And Muller outbreaks himself. He breaks too late. Does he have to concede the place? Would he have lost the place? Yes, he concedes the place. So Tarquini retakes the lead. Muller behind him. Rydell third. Coronel fourth. Huff fifth. On board with Huff here. Hunting down Tom Coronel. Goes for a bold move. Very, very close. Chevrolet alongside the BMW. To, to try and take him on the outside, and does. Tom Cronell not taking any risks. On this occasion, eating Huff's dust. in the gravel. That's Benani. Ah, it's a collision between Benani and Balesi. Straight in the gravel trap. So we have a yellow flag in the third sector, but the racing continues elsewhere. Great move by Coronel. Oh, that's a fire. It looks like an engine fire for Tatumlu. He needs to get clear of there, not quite as serious as Darrell O'Young's. How is that going to affect the rest of the circuit? Tarquini leads for Muller, Rydell. Huff 
Huff, Coronel. Look at that, Coronel, Dudicalu, and Oriola tight in a battle. Now, there seems to be a gap between Muller and no, no, no. Tarquini has gone wide. That's a simple mistake. Just gifting Muller the lead. Nearly halfway through this race, and Muller is now at the front of the pack. Well, because of uh, Tutumblu's fire, there is a safety car which bunches up the pack again. And at the restart, Muller is away. Rydell goes for a move. Huff, behind, close up behind Rydell. And Muller has taken Tarquini. Rydell sneaks in past Tarquini, cuts the corner. He'll have to concede place. by Coronel, beautifully takes Dudicalu. Let's see how the Chevrolets are doing up the front. So we've got Muller leading from Tarquini. There's Rydell, followed by Huff. Huff is close, close in behind Rydell. Here we are on board with Rob Huff using every inch of the circuit and now trying to beat the equally matched Chevrolet Cruze of Rydell. Can he do it? He looks like he's done it. A great move, using the speed out of that corner and makes it stick. Superb. So that's Huff up into third behind Tarquini. Now what he wants to do is take Tarquini and start putting the pressure on his teammate, Ivan Muller. It's a bold move, and he makes it stick again. Two places. Yes, very, very well appreciated by the people at the Chevrolet pit. Tarquini doesn't like it. He's close up on Huff's tail. Can Huff defend, or will Tarquini take second place back? Tarquini's wildly going from side to side to try. Oh, using the curbs brilliantly. Getting it up on two wheels slightly, but not losing control. Huff manages to uh, remain in control of that particular battle. Oh, Weber in a crash. That's very unfortunate there. So, Muller, Huff, Tarquini, Rydell. That's Alex McDowell, followed by Mikulitz. And at the chequered flag, it's a 1-2 for Chevrolet. Muller, Huff, and Tarquini, who started on pole, comes in third. Very good start for Chevrolet. And Ivan Muller, dominant as he was last year. Ominous for everybody else that he wins the first race here in Monza. So confirmation then, Chevrolet 1-2, Muller half, Tarquini third, Rydell, Coronel, Oriola, Menu, McDowell. Because the tour, he, he, he carry on more speed than me, so I closed a bit the door, but I break too late, stupidly. So I went straight on, but even if I was the leader, I didn't take the risk, I let him pass. And then, uh, and then fortunately, he did his mistake, so I could uh, take back uh, the leadership. Second place, Huff, let's hear from him. Then going to Lesmo 1, I was on the inside, and uh, we both obviously uh, slid off with a bit of contact, but dropped to six, but the car was fantastic. You know, the, the Chevy boys have uh, done a fantastic job for us this weekend again. The car was great, and that allowed me to fight back, so very pleased. And Gabriele Tarquini managing third place, a podium spot 
at his home event. I was in pole position, but I had to finish the race in third position. I mean, it was uh, it was great because we walk uh, over the night, uh, all mechanics and everything change the engine. This morning we warm up, the engine doesn't work, so they change some other parts, and uh, in the end, it was almost a good car to drive to fight with the Chevy. I mean. In race, Chevy was faster than me. And that's Pepe Oriola, who was the first of the independents. So race one done and dusted.